All right, so here's a problem we're going to do, as we say, and think with our pen, where we look at the information and, and just write down what we know. So if we're not sure how to approach it, that's where we're going to begin. So it says, calculate the kinetic energy of an 8-kilogram wagon. So 8 kilograms is a mass, so I'm going to write mass is 8 kilograms. Traveling at a velocity of 3 meters per second. So velocity is 3 meters per second. And it says I'm looking for kinetic energy, so I'll write Ke is unknown. So that's our setup. Now all we need to do to figure this out is the formula for kinetic energy. So again, the formula for kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared. So this is simply a matter of plugging in our, our information. So kinetic energy is 1 half and times 8 kilograms times 3 meters per second squared. Now as long as our units are in kilograms and meters per second, we will end up with the units we want, which is joules. So this will end up being, uh, so 1 half times 8 times 3 squared. So remember, the squared only affects the 3. It does not affect everything. So what that ends up being is 144. And the units would be kilograms meters per second squared, if you do it all out, which is another way of saying um, joules. And so those are your final units if you do this properly. So that's the kinetic energy of this particular object. So you just need to know the mass and velocity to find that. Similar problem, except now we're asked to find potential energy. So we're going to write down what we know. It's an 8 kilogram block. So the mass is 8 kilograms. It is 4 meters above the ground. So we're going to say the height is 4 meters. And we're looking for potential energy. And you say, okay, potential energy, the formula for potential energy is mgh. So we know mass, we know height, and we need to know g. So it doesn't say it in the problem, but you can usually assume we're talking about Earth. And so that means on Earth, g is 10 meters per second squared. So now, again, it's just a matter of plugging in these numbers. The potential energy equals 8 kilograms times 4 meters times 10 meters per second squared. And when you do that, you get 320. And if you plug in and mess around with all the units, you again get kilogram meters over seconds squared, which if we do some unit cancellation, again comes out to joules. So the potential energy is 320 joules. And that is how you would go about solving this. So bottom line, as long as your mass is in kilograms, your height is in meters, and your velocity is in meters per second squared, um, the units should work themselves out and you'll get joules. Um, but that's pretty much it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.